Welcome to another tutorial on Quantum JS. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to measure distance using Quantum JS. So this is a Quantum JS interface. So for measuring the distance, we need two points minimum. So for that, I am loading a vector map. So vector data you can add using multiple way you can add using multiple options like simply you can click this icon for adding your vector layer or else you can go to the layer menu and then add layer here again you will have multiple options you have to simply select add vector layer so then there are again different options for choosing your vector layer so if your file is present in your computer just browse for that file So then select the file. So here any underscore 10m underscore populated underscore places underscore simple. This is a vector file. So actually it is a zipper zipper folder. So QJS has the ability to extract the zipper folders directly. So the vector file which is present in the zipper file will be opened with no problem. So this is a vector file which is loaded here. So here I am going to measure distance between two points. Let us say distance from this point to this, this point. So on the QGIS toolbars, here if you see, this is an icon which is in the form of a scale. It is next to your sigma symbol. So just select this line, select that icon, a new window will pop up. Then you just need to click on the two points between which you want to measure the distance so here if you see the distance between those two points is 289 kilometers so if you want to measure the distance from that point to the next point simply you have to click on the next point so in this way you can measure the distance it will provide the distance of that particular segment as well as the distance from that segment to another segment if you want to close the measuring the distance there simply have to right click so in this way you can measure the distance between two points using quantum JS. So from this point to this point. So in this way you can measure the distance. So that's it. So thanks for watching this video. For more videos please subscribe our channel.